day, you must count one. Two. Three. My challenge today four, is to do a hundred of these pull-ups or push-ups. Six. I haven't seven, decided what amount, but I'm eight, going to aim for nine, one hundred. Ten, I know that's a huge target. I don't think my arms will be able to take it. Twelve, but here we go. I am just 13, trusting God 14, also in all of this. Fifteen. So 16, bear with me. <laughs> Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Can you also count in your 21. head? Twenty-one. In your head. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Just keep counting your head. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty. And what I want to say also is, all we need to do for the Lord is just give our best. Whether we reach this, or we reach that, or we don't reach this, or we don't reach that. All that counts at the end of the day is, did you, what did you do with the talents or the gifts God gave to you? Did you bury it in the sand? Or did you say, Lord, what's this I've got in my hand? You can use it if I'm willing to lose it. Like Moses, what did he have in his hand? He had nothing but a stick. A walking stick. And with that stick you could do mighty miracles and part a great sea. What's that you have in your hand? It all depends on whose hands it's in. A basketball in my hand is worth 200 rand. But in Michael Jordan's hands is worth about 200 million rand. And dollars is maybe 33 million dollars. It depends whose hands it's in. A pair of nails in my hands is worth what? It, I can build a birdhouse for the great birds of the sky. But in Jesus' hands, the nails can wipe away the sins of the whole wide world. All they need to do at the end of the day when they appear before the judgment seat of the almighty judge is to say the following, Whoa! I will bow my knee and confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. How many? Eighty-five. Eighty-six. 87, 88, 89, nervous 90s, nervous 91, nervous 92, nervous 93, nervous 94, nervous 95, nervous 96, nervous 97, nervous 98, nervous 99, 100 biakugram. Yeah! <laughs> Champion! Champion, what do you have to say? My yes. Friend. All things are possible to him who believes. Uh, Amen. And, and you know what? You didn't even practice doing a hundred ever in your life. No, never ever. You never, you just ever. came and said, I want to do a hundred. Yes. Yes, indeed. Who made it possible? God made it possible. How old are you going to be this year? Ten times seven. Yes. And we, and we must all give people 70 times, times seven. seven times. Every day. Yeah, and seven is a number of perfection. Yes. So we thank God for this opportunity. We can be here on the park gym of the Sornstral Dam, where it's in a beautiful city, the mother city of the world, Cape Town, where all the things are going to start happening. Yes. God is creating a great movement already, but you can't see it. But God knows what he's doing best. Best things are happening from South Africa. But long ago, Reynard Bonke said he believed it, but he died on the day I was, got married. 7 December 2019, Reynard Bonke died. You might know that name. He was the man that said, from Cape to Cairo, all of Africa shall be saved. Did you hear that word already, Daddy? Yeah. You know Reynard Bonke? What was he? He was an evangelist. Evangelist. Yeah. And he came to Valhalla Park. Valhalla Park also. Yeah. Bishop Lavis. All these places in Cape Town he visited. And thousands of people came to know the Lord through mm. his ministry. Wow. He was a powerful man of God. And he died on what day? On the day that you got married. Yes. And someone prophesied also. 
that my wife will meet with that one's son. Mm. And he is continuing that ministry. That What's ministry. You know his name? Daniel Kalenda. Oh. I know him. <laughs> good, good, good. Now, the question is also. Is another question. How many nations are in Africa? If you look on my chest, ne, I've got a map and a cross. But you must look at the map. It's Africa. It was being prophesied about 54 nations. There are 54 nations in Africa. <laughs> wow. Google it. Google it. 54 sure, in Africa. Lovely. Yeah, nowhere else in this world. continent of Africa is not so big like the United States but we've got 50 they've got also 50 something I don't care 50 how much is less maybe I can guess now 52 I'm speaking under big correction mm. 52 states Cyrus will know Jerry will know they are accurate according to the United States of America because they are great citizens of America mm. they stand for uh, true American values then you get this other government on the left wing. They stand for unbiblical material. But America was founded upon biblical values. And the two of them stand for the Bible. Values must be instituted in this country, the United States of the Great America. Okay. Now the problem is also, Daddy, I need to pray very hard. And I did pray very hard and I must continue. Because you get these people that say no. You people want to support America must be a Bible-believing country and we don't want that. And that kind of people is now persecuting those who are saying we want to support a Bible country. How, how does that make sense, Daddy? Yeah. No sense at all. Ne? No but sense. we understand it because Jesus said they will persecute you for my name's sake. And then he said, blessed are those of you who are persecuted for my name's sake. Hallelujah. And you will get a great blessing. Hallelujah. Thank you for watching. This was Gabriel Stephen Quimpo and his son Stephen Gabriel Quimpo. Don't get confused now. That's why I changed my name on Facebook. English, Japanese and Chinese. Stephen Kaburi Rukimpo. Which means Stephen armed with the strength of God. Gold shop. But Gabriel has also another meaning. Stephen, God is my strength. Gold shop. Thank you. Sayonara. Jesus, hallelujah. Ciao, ciao. Sorry for the bit of tremors. Is a tablet that I'm taking, causing it a little bit tremoring video. But it's no problem. I still can play guitar at 50% of my capacity when it, before all it started seven years ago. I can still play at 50% power and that's good enough. Much better than many people. And I'm thankful to God I can still play even though I'm half as good as what I was. I don't let it frustrate me or get me down. I still motor forward and maybe one day I will even surpass what I used to be with all this tremoring and fat finger from epilims and all. Ne daddy? Yes. I must just believe it and then believe what can you do? Just be grateful mm. that you are still able to do whatever you are doing yeah. for his glory and honor. Yes. Bring glory to God and he will continue to bless and sustain you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys. I'll give you one last view of this beauty. There's the moon. Want to see the moon in Zoom? At 4 o'clock. The moon at 4 a.m. p.m. The moon at 4 p.m. You want to see the sun? No, not the sun of God. I can't show you the sun of God. But that's the sun that he created. <laughs> Light for us. Okay, goodbye for real now. There my father's doing heavy workouts. Heavy workouts. I'm going to do 200 of that thing. Bye-bye. <laughs>